Thailand, Indonesia, wherever they were. Well, all of you here are a testament today that Twitter is no longer the Wild West. In fact, it is the way we now communicate as business owners, as people, as organizations. Whatever you're doing on Twitter, I guarantee you, you were not doing it in 2006. So kudos to all of you for coming. So, not all of you know what the 140 is. I've been asked, been asked by a lot of people, what the heck is a 140 conference? Okay, I get the whole 140 characters. Can we get the music turned down? I don't like to compete with music. Excuse me, ladies. Can you turn the music down for a few minutes? Okay. Yeah, I'm not a diva for no reason. There's a... <laughs> So, 140 Conference, I was there in New York City a few weeks ago. So, for those of you who don't know what the new 140 Conference is, let me paint you a little picture. Picture TEDx on steroids, first of all. Okay? Got that picture in your head? We're talking about, in the, the 140 Conference in New York City, it went on for two days, 140 speakers parading across the stage, telling their story of why social media changed their lives. C-level executives that want to know what the ROI is on social media, if they weren't there at the 140 conference, they will never understand it. It's about conversations one-on-one. -on -one. But you want to know the beautiful thing about the 140 conference? It is not about the speakers on the stage. Not at all about them. It's about all of us in the audience listening to them. Because 800 people in that audience in New York City listening to 125 people or 140 people parade across the stage, we all took their stories and we made it our own and we shared it and we talked about it and we created and we innovated and we came back with such passion and energy. And so when we talked about bringing the 140 to Waterloo, it was a no-brainer. What other community is innovative and creative and passionate in Ontario? I can't think of one other than Waterloo that deserves the 140 conference. Can you? Woo! No! no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Waterloo is a center of innovation and creativity. Look at our biggest employers, RIM, OpenTex. Look at the 1,000 manufacturers we have here. This is the place where we know how to create. So on September 15th, we're all going to meet at the tannery. Tickets go on sale. Um, hmm. Where's Matt? Very soon, actually. If you find that guy in the yellow shirt, you can get in on the tickets tonight. Because they go on sale tonight for $69. And we're telling Twitter in a half hour. And we're telling Twitter in a half an hour. So you all get in on it early. First 100 tickets are $69. The rest of them are $89. If you still don't know why you need to be at the 140 conference, Look around you. Look at all the people that are using Twitter and talking about what they're doing on Twitter. I have conversations on Twitter daily that I couldn't have if I wasn't on there. Facebook, whatever social media medium you're using. So before I go on and on about evangelizing about social media and how I love it, I want to introduce you to the 140 conference organizing team. Y'all know me. I'm the girl in the cowgirl outfit. <laughs> You're never going to forget this. I'm sure nobody has. <laughs> going on YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's not my brand colors, so I'm so screwed after this. <laughs> but I do have the whip. <laughs> All right. So, enough of that. <laughs> so, let me just grab them as I see them. And Benjamin Bach. There we go. Lisa McDonald. That's your girl. Matt Scoble, the guy over there in the yellow shirt. Kevin McGee, I saw him. So there he is, right beside him. The guy is legendary. Okay, help me out here, because I'm really bad with names. I can't remember my own kids' names. D. <laughs> Rosanna. And Trevor's missing. And Caitlin's missing. And Trish. They are so in trouble. They will be here later. So this is. <laughs> That's awesome. So that is your organizing committee. We will be releasing who we are having, the first five speakers in a few weeks. No, I am not going to tell you tonight, doesn't matter how many drinks you promise me. In Brantford we're going to announce it. Right. Keep that up high, please. It's a little short. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and there's a little bit low there, too, so just be careful. <laughs> You realize you can't put my name on this because my kids are on YouTube and it's going to be eye rolling oh, like central at my house. It's happening right now. Yeah. All right, you can get out too, Carl. All right, anybody have any questions about the 140 conference and why y'all need to be there?
No, okay, so our next tweet up is <laughs> July 14th in Brantford. We've got another great one August 18th in London. And more to come. And more to come because any chance to drink and socialize, people in Waterloo were awesome at that. <laughs> Along with all the innovation. Maybe the innovation comes from the drinking? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, the 140 Conference website is live. I tweeted it before I got here. So follow the hashtag, hashtag 140-C-O-N-F-O-N-T for all the information and go onto our website or our Facebook page as well. Just type in 140, you'll find it. How many Facebook pages start with numbers? We're pretty unique. Many, though. Many 140s. There's 140 Dallas, 140 Okay, so put Ontario in there. <laughs> or friend me and I'll direct you over there. <laughs> All right. I have an announcement. You have an announcement. Take it away. Big, big announcement. Because <laughs> everybody knows that one of the best things and worst things on Twitter are the contests. <laughs> and what would 140 Conference Ontario be without a contest? contest? So we are going to have a contest. Details are going to be coming soon. It's going to be simple and easy, like more, and a lot of fun. <laughs> What? I'm a truth teller. It's what I do. Okay, and that's going on YouTube. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is. Great. Easy to Still love my husband. Too. Yeah. My Twitter name is Cocktail Diva. Diva is D E E V A. So you're going to have to check it out. You're going to be able to win your 140 conference Ontario ticket for a buck forty. Isn't that an awesome contest? That's an Woo! awesome contest. It's going to be a lot of fun, something really different, a contest like no other, really. I've never seen anything like it. Have you? No. No. Never. never. <laughs> and can we please give a big round of applause for cowgirl Julia. <laughs> no, really, you need to save that round of applause. And I want to see a whole lot more KW Awesome here for the organizing committee for the 140 conference. Because these guys rock my world every day. Organizing this, this event is not like working for a corporation where you have to check the brand messaging, make sure it aligns with the company objectives. No, we just, we just get out there and we do stuff and we get it done. So, big round of applause and a really big yeah! All right. Anything else? Come find us. I'm easy to find. Lisa's not so easy except for the fact that she's got a tear on. Hi, everyone. We're here at the Tweet up in Waterloo at Wild Crab Bar Grill. We found our friend Julia. She was kind enough to make a big announcement about what's happening 140 here in for Ontario and Canada. I need to know exactly what inspired this okay. effort. I'm all about the head here. Okay. So you just have to get a good look at the head here. And all the way down. <laughs> and the, and the last so two. <laughs> Okay. What inspired the outfit? Twitter it was the Wild West. It was things that were risky and put people out there in the world. And that's why I wanted to show people, if you're not fearless, if you're not out there to go big, go home. Because that's what the 140 and what Twitter's all about. That's great. And tonight, what has got you so excited about tonight? Oh my god, do a panoramic of this crowd. That's what's got me excited. <laughs> Everybody here is on social media. They get it. They need the message of how to use it better, how to use it more effectively. And the 140 conference is about sharing that information. So we don't, don't have to reinvent the wheel. Let's do it together so we make a better web for all of us. So why should people come to the 140 conference? Well, I'll be there. That's <laughs> Same cowgirl outfit? No, I'm going to have a new one for the 140 conference. <laughs> No, they need to come to the 140 conference because what happens in the audience is more important than what happens on the stage. What happens on the stage is fabulous. You get to hear those Wild West stories, people that are innovating and creating, and they have the energy and passion. But the people in the audience, they're the people that are going to change that message and make it their own and make it better for all of us to be on the web. So if you want to know why to be at the 140, be in the audience. That's the most important place to be. Okay, so we're inside Wildcraft Grill, and we found our friend Ben who is also part of the 140 conference team. Um, we're just having a great time upstairs, but we thought it'd be a little bit quieter here and ask Ben a few questions like, what exactly are you most excited about for 140? 
What I'm most excited about, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to fix that and edit. <laughs> but we're not. I know. <laughs> well, we're mo what I'm most excited about about 140 are the people that are going to be there. Um, and I find that at, at every conference that, you know, you have great people up on the stage. And 140 is going to, I mean, we've, I just got a speaker application on my Blackberry from uh, people from the stage. It's going to be amazing. What I'm really excited about are the 200 people that are going to be in the audience that I'm going to be able to share my stories with. Um, that I'm going to be able to learn from their stories, and that we're going to be able to, we're going to, be able to make connections that are going to be able to uh, make our community tighter. What I love about social media is taking the connections that I make online, offline. Great examples right here. And I'm really looking forward to doing that at 140. Um, I mean, even tonight at our, our tweet, we have 120 people up there. So many people who I talk to online, and today's the first time I've been able to connect with them in person. And um, that's what makes Twitter and Facebook come alive for me, when I can take my online relationships and move them offline. And I'm so excited to be in the, the room at the Tandem for 140 with 200 of my friends, even though I haven't met all of them in person yet. Great. So why did you want to be part of the 140 conference group to bring it here to KW? Um, so I was supposed to be speaking at uh, one of Jeff Pulver's events in the States, and uh, due to some uh, unforeseen circumstances, I wasn't able to make it down there. Uh, so I've known Jeff for uh, probably a little over a year now, and I've, I've always been really excited about the concept of his event mainly because it's not like a big corporate thing with, you know, speakers they fly for somebody. It's really a community event, no matter where they do it, um, with stories and all the passion. Um, and I, I love what he's done with the 140 fashion, 140 education, the one, events in New York, in Spain, in Israel, and L.A., and all that stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm just so excited to be able to help bring it to Waterloo. With our friend Kevin McGee, all the way from Brantford, way down Highway 24. Um, we're part of the 140 Conference coming here to Waterloo. It's 140 Conference Ontario, so we want to make sure that we have all parts of Ontario representatives, re represented. Sorry. And why do you think Brantford should come to Waterloo to be part of this event? One of the great things we've had is a lot of cross-pollination between the different cities and the different movements. We have our tweet stock movement in Brantford. You have the 140 forming here, there's Ignites across uh, the province, there's Mesh in Toronto, and now these groups are starting to come together to have something greater. So I think the more we can reach out to the different communities, the more we amplify each other's effects in our own communities. And why personally do you want to be involved in the 140 conference on the team? Who wouldn't want to be part of the Tierra Army? <laughs> this I'm is going on YouTube, member. I'm warning you. <laughs> I'm happy to wear the crown on behalf of the 140 Conference. Nice. We're here with our first group of ticket purchasers for the 140 Conference happening September 15th here in Waterloo, Ontario. And we're really excited because yay for them! So we're wondering why do you want to come to the 140 Conference? Because it's the 140 conference, it's Jeff Pulver. People are going to say, where were you for the very first 140 conference held in Kitchener, Waterloo? And, in Canada. and I can say, all yes. because I was there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, totally. Jeff Pulver is going to be there. All these fabulous people are going to be there. And there's going to be awesome speakers. And it's in Canada. Who would not want to do that and support, uh, support Canadians and support uh, 140 here in Canada? It's going to be awesome. Can't wait for it. And I work in publishing, I work in Waterloo, and everybody else is in Toronto, and I've been to Toronto mm -hmm. all the time for their conferences, yep. and I've been pumping this up for the last, you know, few weeks, saying, fun, you guys now have to come to Kitchener. <laughs> <laughs> we are the cool place. Yeah, we're having the one Cool people conference. are going to be there. Yeah, oh, so wow. all the cool kids have yeah. purchased tickets. Better get it quick. Sure, yeah. <laughs> when they're gone. <laughs> when they're gone.